Hello everyone, this is Mr. Math here with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be trying to evaluate this expression here, tangent of 25 degrees plus tangent of 145 degrees plus tangent of 265 degrees. And before I give my solution for this, how to evaluate this, I'd advise all of you to give it a try. So I have one hint for you. This formula right here, you might remember this from Algebra 2 or Pre-Calc or a trig class that you may have taken. Basically, this is the tan addition formula. So you get two angles here, you add them together, and you can find the tangent of their sum in terms of the tangent of each individual angle. So pause the video and try to give this a try. Try to evaluate this expression like in exact form and come right back and I'll show you my solution. All right, so I'm assuming that you had a go at it. Um, the first thing that we want to see is we want to notice a pattern here. So in these angles, if you notice, all of these are like 120 degrees apart. Or not like, well, 25 is 120 degrees from 145. 145 is 120 degrees from 265. And if we add 120 to 265, we get 385, which is... Well, it's basically the same angle as 25 degrees, and we'll look at that in just a moment. So I have that written out there. The angles are 120 degrees and 240 degrees apart, and because 120 is like, or well, because 120 is a factor of 360, this is why this right here, the tangent of 25 plus 145 plus 265, even though all of these can't really be written in a nice closed form, when we add them together, we're going to have a pretty, pretty nice expression for all of them. So the equal spacing is what's going to be important. This is just the unit circle here. If you're not familiar, this is just kind of a way of like visualizing angles. So we have our 25 degree angle here, our 145 degree angle here. The angle is just measured from the positive x-axis, so this is 25 degrees, this is 145 degrees, and this is 265 degrees. And you can see here that they're all 120 degrees apart, and so they're all like equally spaced, and that's why this is going to work, because 120 is a factor of 360, and 360 is how many degrees there are in a circle. So now we're going to kind of get into actually trying to evaluate this. We're going to bring back that addition formula that we had earlier, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to evaluate all of these in terms of tangent of 25 degrees. So what we can obviously do is we know that 145 is just 25 plus 120, and we know that 25 degrees, or I'm sorry, 265 degrees is 25 plus 240. So we can put all of this in terms of 25 degrees, and why that's going to be useful is because we know what tangent of 120 degrees is already. And just to simplify this a little bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this tangent of 25 plus 240. I'm going to just rewrite that as 25 minus 120, because negative 120 and 240 are basically the same angle. Um, so... Yeah, like they have the same tangent and everything because on the unit circle, they land in the same place. They're just one revolution, 360 degrees apart. So now we're going to bring back in this tangent addition formula that was in the second slide that I said was going to be very useful, and it will be. And what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in here. I just copy this from the other side and change the colors so that it's more, it's more easy to read. We have tangent of 25 plus negative 120, plus tangent of 25, plus tangent of 25, plus 120. And if we plug this into the formula here, this one becomes tangent of 25 is our A, negative 120 is our B, and we just plug into the formula and get this. The tangent of 25, well, I guess you could think of it as 25 plus 0, but tangent of 0 is 0, so that doesn't really matter. We can just leave it as it is. And then this we're having A be 25, and we're having B be 120. Plug it into the formula, and we get this expression. So now I just want to reiterate a point here. You've probably seen the graph of the tangent function before, 
And this image is from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Mechanical Materials Engineering. Great university, by the way, University of Nebraska. Go Cornhuskers. But anyways, we have tangent is an odd function here. And if you remember from Algebra 2 or Pre-Calc or whatever course you learned this in, or may have not learned this in, if we plug in f of negative x, that's equal to negative f of x. And the reason why that works is because it's symmetric across the origin. So if you kind of like imagine this is our x here, and we get like this value, if we take negative x, we get the same magnitude of the value but opposite direction in the y-axis. So, and another way to think of why tangent is an odd function is because sine is an odd function, cosine is an even function. If you take something odd and divide it by something even, you're going to get something odd. Um, well, I guess that's not really, you, you can't really think of that in terms of natural, in terms of just integers, but that's kind of where the definitions come from, is because when you multiply an even function by an odd function, you get an odd function. Or in this case, you're dividing, so I guess the analogy doesn't really work perfectly if you just think in terms of integers. But anyways, what this means is that tangent of negative 120, so I'm going to just use x is equal to 120 here, tangent of negative 120 is equal to negative tan of 120. And of course, since we know what tangent of 120 is, or maybe you didn't know, but you can just use your special right triangles in the unit circle and get this, or you can, you might just have these memorized, hopefully, but tangent of 120 degrees is equal to negative root 3, or negative radical 3. So that means that tangent of negative 120 degrees is just equal to radical 3. So now we can kind of simplify this more. This is just the expression from a few slides ago that we had where we used the addition formula to get this. Wherever we see tangent of 120 degrees, we can plug in negative radical 3. And wherever we see tangent of negative 120 degrees, we can plug in radical 3. So I just did that here. And it looks a lot simpler now. And now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get rid of that tangent of 25 degrees because we don't know really what tangent of 25 degrees is in terms of like just basic expressions here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get all of this expression in terms of one fraction. And in doing that, maybe you can see kind of some like this kind of is the conjugate of this, or I don't know if that's the technical term for this, but when we add this together, a lot of stuff is going to, we're going to get rid of a lot of stuff, and hopefully we'll get rid of tangent of 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first term here. This was um, tangent of negative 120 plus 25, and I'm going to multiply this by the conjugate of the bottom, and that's going to allow us to, well, actually, I'm not really multiplying it by the conjugate at the bottom. I'm just multiplying it by the denominator of this other term because we're going to want to add these two terms together. And if you do some basic math, this is tangent of 25 plus 3 tangent of 25. So that's 4 tangent of 25 plus radical 3 plus tangent squared 25 radical 3. And we have that right here divided by 1 minus tangent of 25 radical plus plus tangent of 25 radical 3 um, plus, or I'm sorry, minus 3 tangent of 20, minus 3 tan squared 25. And that's where this is coming from. And we can do a very similar thing to this other term here. We can multiply this by um, the denominator of the first term. And when we do that basic, just multiplying binomials together, make sure that you foil it. You don't just, I don't know, make some silly mistake here, you get this. So this is the first and last term from the other one. This is basically all the terms but the tangent of 25. When we add these together, you're going to see that a lot of things cancel out. So all of these, the last two terms of each of these fractions on the numerator cancel out, and we're left with 8 tan 25 over 1 minus 25. But of course, we have this tangent of 25 to add to this. And in order to do that, we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier. We're just going to multiply this by the 
the denominator of the other term over the denominator of the other term. And when we do this, it's just kind of some basic algebra again. This is going to be tangent 25 minus 3 tan cubed 25 over 1 minus 3 tan 25. And then we can add them together. And that's going to be 9 tan of 25 minus 3 tan cubed of 25 over 1 minus tan squared 25. And maybe if you took a pre-cal class, you'll kind of recognize this form. But anyway, what I'm going to bring in now is kind of our last step is the triple angle formula. So we have this formula here, tangent of 3 theta is equal to 3 tan theta minus tan cubed theta over 1 minus 3 tan squared theta. And well, I just kind of gave you this formula. I'm going to quickly prove it. So we have this formula that we love here again, this tangent of a plus b formula. And we're going to try to find a formula for tangent of 2 theta by just taking tangent of theta plus theta, because of course theta plus theta is equal to 2 theta. And if we plug this into the formula and do some basic simplification, we're going to get 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. And now, if we want to find tangent of 3 theta, we can just say 2 theta plus theta, because we know what tangent of 2 theta is, and well, tangent of theta is just tangent of theta. That's what we're expressing everything in terms of. So we can say this is tangent of theta plus tangent of 2 theta from above here over 1 minus tangent of theta times tangent of 2 theta. I'm just plugging it into this addition formula using the value of tangent of 2 theta in terms of tangent of theta. And we can kind of simplify this if, just as earlier, we're going to just multiply this by 1 minus tangent squared theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. And well, you can kind of do all this math on your own if you want to, but it's going to turn into this, and then we can just take out this 1 minus tangent squared of theta, and we're going to get 3 tangent of theta minus tangent cubed theta over 1 minus 3 tan squared theta. That's what we had earlier, so we just kind of prove this identity here. And I'm just going to bring both these over. We have our tangent of 3 theta formula, and we have our original expression that we simplified it down to. And if you notice, the denominator is the same here. The numerator is just three times this formula. So, of course, this is equal to 3 tangent of 3 theta, where theta is 25 degrees. So this is equal to 3 tan of 75 degrees. Now, our kind of last little thing that we have to do here is we have to find out what tangent of 75 degrees is. And maybe you have this memorized, maybe not, but it's pretty easy to find. If you don't have this memorized, just using our tangent of uh, a plus b formula here that we love, we can just have a equal 30 and b equal 45. And we know that tangent of 30 is, well, I, I didn't write it out explicitly here, but tangent of 30 is radical 3 over 3, and tangent of 45 is 1. And I'm just going to express it as 3 over 3, because that'll make stuff easier when we're trying to simplify. So we have tangent of 30 plus tangent of 45 over 1 minus tangent of 30 times tangent of 45. And this is going to turn into 3 plus radical 3 over 3 minus radical 3. And we like to rationalize our denominator here because that makes things look nicer. We're just going to multiply by the conjugate of the bottom over the conjugate of the bottom, I guess. We're just going to multiply by 1, basically how we've been doing that a bunch. And when we do this, we get um, 9 plus... 2 radical 3 plus 3, or 9 plus 2 radical 3 times 3 plus 3, which is 12 plus 6 radical 3, over 3, um, or I'm sorry, over 9 minus 3, which is 6. And that's just going to be 2 plus radical 3. So now all we have to find for our final answer is 3 tangent of 75, which is 3 times 2 plus radical 3, which is 6 plus 3 radical 3. And we're done. We just solve this expression, it's equal to 6 plus 3 radical 3. And I think this is really nice because if you think tangent of 25, tangent of 145, tangent of 265, all of these on their own you can't really evaluate because we well, can't evaluate in a nice exact form like how you could find tangent of 30 or tangent of 60, for example. But when we add them all together, we get 6 plus 3 radical 3, which is a very nice, nice little expression for this. And I'll leave you guys with a bonus problem. The problem is find tangent of 10 plus tangent of 130 plus tangent of 250 degrees. 
and this is basically you can solve it just using the same the same process as earlier or you can kind of just devise a general way of how to solve this you'll notice that 10 is 30 divided by 3 but um, go ahead and give this a try and put your answer in the comments section down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video and until next time.